Hey yo! It's good to be seeing everybody again. I'm going to give the audio a little bit of time to sync up correctly. Doesn't look like it's fully there. Come on, come on. Looks like it's going fine now. That's good. All right, so I'm back again with another another opening video. This time I'm going for a full case of Monarch Flesh and Blood. And I know in the past, like I tried to break up these videos uh, bit by bit, so that way it's easier to manage. Definitely gives me less time. Uh, well, it gives me more time, I should say, to get everything organized and packed away so my area doesn't get all cluttered. But I figured I want to go ahead and try to go for a full case of Monarch Ugh, First Edition. It's not every day that a freaking First Edition set of Flesh and Blood comes out. Bumping the mic a ton, or camera a ton. Hopefully, you guys don't mind it too much. I'm going to have to do that one time, I'm hoping. All right. Oh, it looks so cool. <laughs> yeah, I picked these up on Friday, but it's been a bit of a hectic weekend, Mother's Day, and all sorts of different celebrations happening, things like that. Ooh, what is this? Yeah, it even has a little first edition marks and all that. Nice. <laughs> I think this is actually the first time they released the set that it was act that it was dedicated to first edition versus the unlimited. And you got your half the packs are light, half the packs are dark. Let me pull them all the way out. I'm sure there's other videos online. Oh, wow, they're all mixed in. I thought they were literally supposed to be half and half. Yeah, I'm gonna try to sort those out before opening anything. But yeah, the uh, all other sets they were basically they, they came out. They decided, oh, well, let's go ahead and make an unlimited edition of these sets. And the unlimiteds were the only ones that had a real edition and are continually printed till now, uh, to this day. But this one, they're like, okay, we're going to have to actually have a real release for first edition and unlimited. So I think unlimited comes out within a month. I could definitely be wrong. Uh, let's get this a little bit closer. See if I can also get this a little bit more focused. It's a lot of glare, though. Is that the best I can do for glare? I think that's the best I'm going to be able to do, that's for sure. Okay, anyway, I'm going to start off pretty slow on this first box. Got your first common, commons. These are all class-specific commons, which is cool. I like that they get them all organized for you. Oh, then I get to go to my generic. No, generics are just straight up mixed right in. Oh, that means I'm going to have to spend a lot more time organizing than I thought. What the actual frack? Okay, first actual pack is my legendary. I swear I didn't crack these open. I didn't organize these in any way. That is pretty awesome. Phantasmal Footsteps, legendary, first edition cold foil. Okay, well, it's going to be hard for the set to, uh, to compare to that. You get your equipment, your rares. I see. So that takes up the foil slot, and the foil slot is uh, more or less in the same place. But then the rares are a little bit off-centered from what I'm used to. So this is going to be a bit annoying. Okay, I'll put those there. I'm trying. It's all off camera because I want you to be able to see the cards I'm, I'm pulling from packs. But for my own sake, because I'm going to be 
trying to do an entire case at once, I want to be able to put them away at some point. So it doesn't take up the whole video trying to keep things organized. Wow, that's a lot of text for a common. Look at all this room blade. Good stuff. Light warrior action. I love the idea that they're there's light and dark, but at the same time, it also means a lot of these cards are not going to be able to be used with the older stuff. Okay. This is common still. I was thinking it's an equipment. No, it is. They're, yeah, okay. The equipments can be rare, common, etc. And a mythic death scythe. I don't know if I really need to sleeve the mythics right now. Well, especially not the non hollow mythics. This is my foils, this common. Maybe I'll put the regular foils right there. And then, of course, the, 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 I'm sure I want to be changing my mind how I want everything to be organized as I'm pulling these. For now, I'm just going to have to deal and endure with my own slightly altered perspective. Bad roots. A lot of these cards I haven't seen either in this set. Uh, I tried to look up some of the spoilers, and I got kind of overwhelmed because I didn't have a way to like keep things organized in my head. So I figured I'll just have to wait until everything comes out. Ooh. Foil rare. That's chill. I'll put that right there. Common breastplate rare and rare. Cool. Oops. Don't put those on top of the mythics. That just sounds cool. I should probably foil up every, or sleeve every hollow rare and above that I get. Herald. Boom. Oh my god, I know how to use a sleeve, I swear. It's not my first time. <laughs> and then here's the cool little tokens. You have to do jump through a million hoops in order to get it. It's a double-sided Urser and Baphomet. Baphomet, Baphomet, yeah, Baphomet. I'm liking the idea of the zero-cost room blade actions. It's not even like Shadow or nothing. It just could not That's one of the few cards that could be used immediately into the older stuff. Seven power attacks. Fun stuff. It's been a while since I've actually played the game, so I'm not even sure what I'm really looking for. All right. Common foil, boop. Common equipment, and double rare. Not too bad. But I know the big thing is you only have the warrior, brute, rune blade, and illusionist. So illusionist being the only new class in the set. And the other three, they're in here, but they also are the only prior classes that have a type, light, dark, etc. I guess I shouldn't say etc. That makes me think, makes it sound like I'm implying there are more than just the two sides of that coin. Okay, is that the foil? No, this is the foil. Okay, another foil rare. Noise. It's defended by a card with equal or lesser power, gains go again. That's cool. It's going to be hard to defend with a card with more power. So getting go again for a zero cost card is pretty chill. Ooh, and a nice new uh, mythic. Luminaris. During your action phase, the Luminous Auras control our weapons with one power and once per turn action. Zero cost attack. Once per turn action attack. But it doesn't, they don't gain go again, it doesn't sound like. So I just realized I put a bunch of these things here. Thump. Also, since this is Crucible and beyond, there are no more super rares, so there's just going to be tons of mythics. And all of varying quality. For the most part, I'm always happy to see gear. Gear is cool. Foil common, but it does look amazing. Kutunk. Gloves. Rare, rare. <coughs> da, da, da. 
down, 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 plowing through. <laughs> it's going to be hard for any of this to compare to the phantasmal footsteps. Can't believe I decided I'm going to go for a whole case and the first pack I open has the, the legendary. You know, there is like one more rarity above that, but that'll be very impressive to pull something like that out of here. Okay, foil common. I just realized I started putting my rares right into the... I'll finish this pack first. I just started putting all of my rares right in with my commons. So, let's go through that real quick. Do, 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 Rare, rare. Cool. Rare. It's going to be a while. I don't know what in my mind was like, hey, let's put all the commons right there. You know, where the only rares are. Cool, both rares. Almost through. Do, 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 do. Cool. Looks like these are the end of them. Yep. Awesome. Definitely going to make my cleanup a little bit easier. It's going to go up there. artwork is just so crazy too. I'm a little sad I don't have a playmat for this game yet, or from this playmat from this game. But I also feel like if I did have it, I would it would pretty much just go right up on a wall. Not really much else to, uh, not many other places to really display it. Galaxy Blade and Soul Shackle. Banish the top card of your deck. I know that's something that uh, dark players really want to be doing. They want to have stuff in their banish zone. Because um, certain cards can actually be played from there, so it's kind of like a pseudo draw. And then certain all powerful cards really interact with that area too. But again, it's a type of mechanic I'm very unfamiliar with, as most of us will be, until we actually, probably a month or so into this. Yeah. Okay, token, poof. Spend dowsing. I remembered saying something like that in the uh, spoilers. Da -da 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 -da. Express lightning. Pretty chill. Nice little. Feel like it's common? Yeah, it's hard to see from there though. Another common equipment. Rare, rare. Almost done with the dark packs. Da -da 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 -da. And I know the starter decks or blitz decks are going to be coming out in another few weeks as well. Some of those look too great. I know I definitely need to make an illusionist since it's, it should have like the most support out of anything else that's in the set. Because it's brand new and there's no other cards that'll work for it. Take flight. Nice little foil common. Blade equipment, rare, rare. But then again, there are there was one or two classes that came out in Crucible that had almost no support, or maybe they both had no support. I can't remember. I don't think so. It would be funny if the changeling from Crucible could actually use both light and dark. 
I'm ninety percent sure it can't. Okay. Oh my god, I started doing the same shit again. Rare and another another mythic. Axes you control get plus two power and dominate till to turn. Go again. That's pretty nice. Definitely gotta find a way to give your axes um go again. Oh wait, this one gives dominate, but it doesn't give the axes don't go again. That's what I was trying to think right now. Ah, oh, jeez, just everything. Maybe I will have to break this up into multiple videos. Because I am putting stuff all over the place. Come on, come on, come on. Rears, commons. This is why I need to have chats and mods. That way people can tell me when I'm being a full on derp. Rears, rears, rears. Alright, cool. It's all working out. Boop. Alright, maybe I'll do this. Mythics, common rare common foils, rare foils, regular rares. Stop putting them all on each other. Every little bit helps. This almost looks like it could be a ninja card too. Oh, because it's a it's a generic. Um, your next weapon attack is plus one. This has to hit. Uh, I don't like the idea that it costs one though. Maybe I'll warm up to it later. Alright, common illusionist, foil, equipment, rare, rare, token. I know there were one or two equipments that I really did not care for in the set. One of them, it was almost exactly like an iron armor, but like worse, you had to actually play cards to make the armor function, and then it breaks immediately after. That's my foil. Whoops. Overload. Generic attack too. Ironhide. Yeah, so you like legit, it's I guess slightly better than the other iron stuff, but you have to pay mana in order to get them to work. So if you plan on, ooh, myth, deep rooted evil mythic. If you plan on, um, pain mana to defend with stuff anyways I guess it's not terrible but I've never ever planned on spending energy or whatever that looks like an awesome brute weapon whenever you attack with this draw a card then discard a random card if it, if a card with this is destroyed this way it gets plus two okay so I guess if you have one card you can attack for five with this. It's not horrible. And it's another way to proc a lot of the brute stuff that wants you to discard six up stuff. I've been meaning to make a brute deck. Oh, hollow mythic. Definitely got to put that in the sleeve. Guardian of the Shadow Realm. Booyah, Yu-Gi-Oh style. Return this to your hand. Activate this only while it is in your banish zone. So you can defend with this. Uh, defense reaction costs 2 energy, 6 defense, blood death. At the end of your phase, if this is in your banish zone, you lose life. So absolutely fantastic. Boom. Rare, rare. Alright, that's my first foil majestic. I'm cool with that. Especially since I just mentioned I've been planning on making a Brute deck. Shadow defense, I would pretty much... Since Brutes are Shadow, I'd very much be tempted to run the Shadow Brute. Foil common. Go there. Uh, rare. And another.
another majestic. Nice. What's this one? Shadow of Urser. Play this from your banished zone. Rune Blade action card. Additional cost of this, you may banish card with Blood Death from your hand. If you do, it gains go again. So it's a zero cost, two attack, Rune Blade. But you're able to pay it from your banished zone, which is chill. I know there's supposed to be ways certain cards can ignore the Blood Death. But, again, it's something I, I have to look up later. But seeing as how it's a zero cost uh, that can get go again, that's pretty chill. Dunk. Shadows. Shadows all the way. I'm curious what some what other classes we'll get to. Really? I get two of these in the same pack. Two of the same color, too. Two take flights. Red take flights. Oh well. Um... I'm curious what other classes we'll get to be on what faction in future sets. Like, I, I could definitely see, like, the archers being shadow, but I could also see them being, like, shadow, or, uh, light elves trying to protect the forest and things like that. Only time will tell. I know they've announced their next set, uh, but I haven't, I've hardly learned anything about this one. So I have not gotten to do any of that kind of research yet either. Illusion action, phantasmal. Uh, man, I definitely got to learn a lot more about the illusionist. I just know it makes like these little tokens. The tokens more or less like stop damage. Thunk. Uh, the next attack, I get plus three, and if it hits, put it into your hero's soul. Yeah, the light gets to build soul. Uh -huh. Forgot how much soul really matters, though. Boom, boom. Like I don't think soul affects you as much as the shadow stuff hurts you, but I know there's a lot of shadow stuff that hurts people with soul. So it becomes a big old double-edged sword after that point. But if you're not playing against a shadow player, I feel like there wasn't a bad side for doing that. There we go. This is a hollow rare. Gonna have pop that into a sleeve just in case. I think iron hide belts. Two shadow rares. Oh hey, a little token for all the times that I get to draft my excitement you guys my utter excitement and amusement it's beautiful dun, dun, down. All right. foil common rare and rare I'm, uh, and the end I'm kind of glad they didn't add some ninja stuff because I feel like Ninja is one of the classes that has the most support right now since it was the original demo decks. And it also has, I think, three heroes. I guess now uh, Brutes have three heroes. Well, some classes are legit still chilling on one. But that's fine. I'm sure, given enough time, everyone will get the same amount of love. Dear old daddy. T time skipper is game action points. Tome of Divinity. It costs four, but you get to draw two cards. And if a card was put into your soul this turn, instead draw three cards. So, Oh, and it's an instant. Okay, that's the big thing. I'm like, I, you don't even get to play cards after this. It sucks. But, hey. You get to do a lot of good stuff afterwards if you have enough zero costs. Well, I guess if you drew three cards, then yeah, you could definitely pitch one and do some other fun, fun nonsense. Thunk. Getting through it. I think these are some of the last few packs for the for this box. 
And then we'll get to see if any of the other boxes even come close to competing. Got one foil majestic and my legendary for the case. Whoa! I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but I'm legit, like, not even touching this. It's all still, like, creased together. I don't, I don't think my mic can pick that up. Oh, well, I spoiled what the last card was. Let me see if I can get it close. I legit have to unglue these. That's how tight these got. Oh, that looks awesome, though. Anywho, I'm sure nobody really cared for seeing the commons either. But yeah, it definitely got a Majestic as one of the last cards. Oh my god, please. I don't want to tear anything. Okay, cool. This does have two more cards, though. Eh. I have not had that in a card pack in a long, long time. So this was my foil? Or did I not get a foil? I'll have to go through. Oh, this was my foil. This common equipment. So I got a common equipment foil glued to everything. Oh, that is just sucks, though. That blows. Literally had these stuck together, and now it is fucked up. I think it's even on the front and on the back. That really stinks. I'm kind of disappointed in that. It's sad to put into a, into a sleeve, but I mean, don't want it to get even more banged up than what I got right here on camera. All right. Yep. God dang. There we go. That one came apart a lot nicer. Oh, so disappointing. But at least this seemed like one of the cards that didn't get damaged. Another phantas phantasmoclasm. <laughs> phantasmoclasm. What a great word. Uh, it's got a little bit of stickiness on the backside, but... I mean, I'll still definitely play the card. Well, it's a three cost that does nine damage. Look at the defending player's hand and choose a card... They put it at the bottom of the deck, then draw a card. Dang. Definitely could be a double-edged sword. Okay. Yeah, this one didn't have that issue, so that's fine. Okay. Nice little common foil. Equipment, rare, rare. Prismatic shield. Jeez, create two of these spectral tokens. It's an instant for three. I think the class itself can pay three to make one. That's like a once per turn effect. So, that's not terrible. Load this up into here. Get all my majestics, one area, my foils, one I have to take off camera those into a box, put that box into another box, ship it to myself, and then hit it with a hammer. Do you feel me? I'm sure you do. I'm sure you're all right there with me about hitting things with hammers. Fix it Felix style. Maybe that's what I need. I need Fix Felix to come pay me a wee visit so he can fix that foil for me. Oh. So sad. Alright, get those out of here. I don't know why this was set in separately. This should be just fine on this, with everybody else. Okay. Common foils. Do, do, do. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out how do I want to keep all this separate. Again, <laughs> our two big guys from that from that box. Foil and the legendary. There we go. Now I'm all cleaned up. Now time to dig into box two. <laughs> I 
Wow, that took a long time. I'm going to have to really amp up the speed on these. <laughs> oh, no. You almost got to see my feetsies. All right. Picking up the pace. Gonna, since the foils and rares are way in the back, I'm just going to like really blaze through these commons here. Uh, give me a little bit more space, and I'm not going to separate the the types of boosters because I don't know if there's supposed to be a difference. I heard there was, but I don't know where the source even came from. So, meh. Ooh, hey, another draft token. Perfect for nothing. Hopefully my hands aren't too much blocking too much of the text. So you're my foil? Yeah, you are. Foil common. Boots. Double rares. See, there you go. Spectral Seal Token. If you'd be dealt damage, you said prevent one of it. And destroy that thing. But yeah, you got the idea. Another common foil. Equip. Common. And hey, got another one of these guys. Just non-foil version. That's cool, though. Gonna need a playset in order to do any type of tournaments with it. <laughs> Since I bumped my camera so hard, my uh, playmat. Ooh, a foil death scythe. That definitely makes up for uh, that really wonky foil I just pulled from the previous box. Thank you very much. I'm gonna squeeze these a little bit just because I want that to be. Kind of like always on camera. Maybe I'll scoot it. Uh, and here I was saying I wanted to go real fast too. But worrying about where my foils are going to be sitting. Like a crazy person. And tokens because we love them. Foil common. Still beautiful. Rare, rare. Down, down, da, 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 da. Ooh, foil rare. Um, common belt, rare, rare. And one of these. Let's get a sleeve for the foil rare, just in case. I feel like I haven't put any foils into any of my decks unless I absolutely need it for the playset. And even then, I put it into, a, into the deck and I think I like, immediately took it out afterwards. I'm like, nope, don't want to risk you getting shuffled around too much. Mostly because also, um, I don't think any of my decks I'll be competing with again. They were not fantastic. Took them apart almost immediately once the tournament's ended. Another foil majestic. Okay. This box is looking pretty nice. The other one's a foil majestic equipment. I feel like those are a little bit more popular. Especially to me. <laughs> No in Crucible, I was really looking for more of the equipment, but never got that many. Man, that looks chill as heck. So this is my foil. wasn't vain, wasn't looking too de too deeply into its eyes. Rare, rare, and you go up there. 
I definitely had more space the last few pack openings I did, but that's because I was taking better care of my room. Now that I'm able to actually go out a little bit after getting both my vaccination shots, I'm not going crazy, but I mean, I just actually go outside. So something I know more of us are doing a bit here and there. But yeah, since I've actually been going outside a little, I uh, don't tend to my room's cleanliness as much as before. When there's more activities on your agenda, other stuff tends to fall to the wayside. Nick in the camera. Right, let me see if I can just straighten this out a tiny little. Now it looks like the playmat's a little bit straighter, but my cards are not. There we go. Commons for days, commons for days. Foil commons for weeks. Let's put that in the wrong spot. Double rare tokens. I know the new light hero for the set. He's like a knight of some sort. I guess the other chick was kind of, the other warrior was uh, kind of like a knight. It was hard to tell. Like, I don't know. I don't really think rapier wielder when I think of knights. I think it's just my own D&D like perspective. Come in. Double bear. I'm starting to get a little paranoid. I'm actually trying to feel the thickness of certain cards just in case there's stuff behind them now. Uh, glad I got that on camera. I definitely want to make like a little TikTok of it with the uh, oh no, 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 no. For all those that are younger than me, that love them, them TikToks. For all those older than me that are like, I do this ironically, but not really. So this is the foil, foil common. It really doesn't look like it's that foil on camera, but it is trust. Okay, another nice little majestic, generic action. If you do, this thing gets plus seven power and go again. Oh my goodness. Deal any number of attack action cards from your hand with 13 or more total power. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. <laughs> and it's a blue card, so it could have this huge attack if, it's, if you have all the other power, but otherwise you could just be like, okay, no, I'm just kidding. It's a, I want to pitch this. Pitch for three. I definitely like the idea behind that. Oh, sorry, not 13 power, 7 power. 7 power and go again. I don't know why I was about to throw that into the token pile. Come on, gotta stay with it, stay focused. Ooh, foil rare, fun times. If you charge this turn... Thunk. Rare, rare. Alright, I'm halfway through this box. Not hating it. Not hating it at all. What with two myth two foil mythics, one of them equipment, one of them non. Funk. Token go away. I do like the idea that they put these um, tokens in the decks or into the the game. You have all these things that will summon it, or you have to do a whole bunch of stuff in order to summon it, and then your opponent has to hit it and one turn deal. An immense amount of damage to them, so that way they go away forever. But if they don't, it's like, here's a super awesome advantage for you for the rest of the game. Definitely a new dynamic. I'm sure people are already trying to figure out ways to deal with them, or pretty much just go, this is the new meta. Everyone, get these crazy rare cards and make sure you're... Oh, another Majestic. Another Foil Majestic. This is definitely a really handsome card, or handsome box. Attack action aura. Whenever you play an attack action card or a non-attack action card from your vantage zone, you haven't played another card of that type this turn. Deal one arcane damage to your opponent. That's cool. Okay, so if you lose life during your turn, destroy this. You have to make sure that you don't take damage. And typically on your turn, it's because either you're playing against Wizard, 
which you're probably not playing against Wizard. Or it's the um, the Shadow, the Blood Debt, I think. It's the other big way that you take damage on your turn. Take that, camera. You know what you did. Definitely want there to be more zero cost uh, Shadow Blade attack action cards. I want to be able to go wide. Instead of the try to one one hit kill combo. Nothing against it, I just want to try different styles. Oh, that looks pretty chill. If I had a chat, this is the part where I'd be like, oh, what would you want as a playmat if it's not already one? But, you know, don't have a chat. Someday. Someday I will. I saw Majestic. Shadow of Baphomet. Draw a card and the discard card random. If it was six or more, Discard this way, search your deck for a card with blood debt, banish it, and then shuffle your deck. Then this has blood debt. So pretty nice six cost attack card. Thunk. Since it was Shadow of Baphomet, I really thought it was like, oh, this is the thing that lets you summon it. I'm like, I could have sworn it's not a regular Majestic. Common. Maybe it is a regular Majestic. I have no idea. I'm trying to go through the legendaries in my head because it's the only thing higher than Majestic. And it just doesn't ring a bell. Okay, foil common, equipment, two rares. I really doubt the way to summon those crazy tokens is, is in the rare slot. It would be pretty absurd if it was, though. Foil common, as usual. Nice. I almost threw that in the common slot, because I'm a fool. So, Shadow Brew Weapon. Whenever you attack with this, it deals... Uh, minus the number of cards with Blood Dead and my Bandit Sound. Oh my goodness. I do not want to hit myself with that. <laughs> That's terrible. Then again, I guess you are paying two to attack with a six, like, consistently. If you otherwise didn't have a giant thing saying, don't attack with this, you're going to hurt yourself. I feel like they could definitely make a weapon like that for uh, ninjas. And be like, these are nunchucks. If you don't know how to use the nunchucks, you hurt yourself. Double rare. Last two packs of this box, and so we're going to move on. I did make up some time from that first box being so slow. I don't think I'm going to be able to make the one hour mark in the slightest. That's okay, I'll just let this be one of my longer videos. I think even my normal, like, gameplay streams, they usually weren't too much longer than an hour. Another hollow rear. Generic reaction defense. You might put a card from your hand on top of your deck rather than play this. Uh, this was not my favorite defense reaction to see release. I'm not a fan at all of cards having to, to defend with having a cost unless they're absurdly high defense. Like a lot of the warrior um, Repose, I think it was. No, no, Repose is their their mechanic. But uh, it was like a very big defense reaction. Cost one, and their 
the red one is like, defend six, and then if it was a weapon that you defended with, they take a damage. Alright, I guess that is another way to take a damage if you're playing the Shadow Blade. It's like, I attacked them with my weapon for some reason. Oh, I got hit. Now my aura is gone. Rare and this one. Light Warrior action. Cost two less to pay for each time you've charged this turn, and it's a four cost. So yeah, if you're doing a lot of charging, you get to bolt pretty pretty often. Okay, just gonna move some of these around a bit. Don't mean don't mind me much. Do, do, do. You guys already know what the, my best cards in this part were. Think think. Almost out. <sighs> Trying my hardest not to bump the camera at additional times. Especially while there's nothing on screen for you guys to really watch. So I guess both boxes you could do, just make the claim that they both had at least two foil, mythic, or above. Oops. I forgot two more commons. Three more commons. I'm going to have to go through them all anyways to organize them. Alright. Box number three. Let's see if I can keep up that pace, or maybe even get a little bit better. And hopefully no more glue boxes. Glue, pa glue packs. Blah, 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 blah. I let the lid completely smack the camera. Luckily, I didn't just completely block the whole thing, too. Right. I kind of want them like right there. Seems easy enough to get them. I thought I would be blowing through these sleeves, too, but they seem to be keeping steady. Not feeling like I'm getting as many foil rares as I thought I would be. Uh, commons, commons, commons. Maybe it was at a certain point. I just figured I'd f I'd f sleeve every foil. And almost immediately I was like, that's stupid. I just read the time skippers. Reminds me of because they're shoes and they look like slippers. I'm like, oh, time slippers, but they call it skippers. Seems humorous to me, but I'm sure it's it's very dull and mundane for most. Rare, rare. Yeah, two two arcane damage to opponent for one cost. It's three power and two arcane. That's pretty nice for one one cost. I think part of the old weakness of the uh, Rune Blade was people could just wear one art magical equipment to stop all the rune chants from triggering. But now they need to wear a little bit more if they want to stop all the arcane damage. Or if they want to uh, anticipate blocking all the, an ar the arcane damage. But you won't necessarily run that many of those double arcane spells. Gonna run a bit of a mix, and then it's gonna be real hard for them to try to guess what's going down. Photo uh, common, rare, rare. Seems like I've gotten a lot of these prismatic shields, though. Foil rare. 
haven't really read this Ev Yvonne, Yvonne Field. Instant. Banish a card from your hand. If it's a shadow card, draw a card. But you also have to destroy this. Spell Void. If you'd be dealt arcane damage, you would destroy this and prevent two of it. It's okay. It's very similar to how the old um, iron equipment used to be. Except this one's just for arcane. I almost feel like you would never not wear that. I'd have to check a look and see if there was any headpieces for a shadow. I kind of don't recall one. I know they have gloves. I think the other armor piece is chest. Oh, putting that in the wrong place. Putting this in the right place. Here we go. Put this into your soul when the combat chain closes. Oh, there you go. Real nice light defense reaction. So if you're playing warrior, you could use the regular um, defense reactions that are kind of like this, but I think they cost only one. And if it's weapons, it deals damage back. But this one is paid two, defend six, and you can put it into your soul afterwards. I haven't read enough of the light cards to see what using soul really does. Light common card. Oh, I'm spilling my shit all over. Very rare. Shadow. There's the foil. Another foil majestic. I'm liking it. Shadow Brute action card. Oh, it's a Shadow Baphomet again. Nice. This one's just a foil version of it, though. Not bad. Not bad at all. Draw card. Discard card. Random. Six more power. Discard the soy stretcher deck for a blood deck. Didn't realize you first draw a card, then you discard. So there's a very easy way to whiff on that guy. So you can get Dominate, but it is a 3 cost 6 attack, so you better get that Dominate. Do not give in to despair, for it is only after nightfall that we can see the dawn. Chancellor Helena. What an optimistic person she is. Foil light common card. Gloves rarer. Come on. I don't know why. I could have sworn that they had said before that because there were more legendaries in this set than previous there was a slightly higher chance to have double legendaries instead of just one legendary per case. It looks like this is not one of those times. Oh, there we go. Nice little blood deck card. We put into a graveyard from anywhere and said banish it. Six costs, blood dead attack. Four shadow brood. I think they said before that there was that one card that is now banned. It says if this card is put to, put anywhere, if this is put into graveyard from anywhere, instead you put it at the bottom of your deck. So now they have these for Shadow Brute where you banish instead. Foil rare. Give me just a moment. So many prismatic shields though, oh my goodness. I think 
think, think. Shadow rare. Foil shadow rare. Boots, boots, boots. Rare, rare. Ode to Wrath, Shadow Hall. Oh, Light Illusionist Instant Aura. Whenever a source you control, deal damage to the opponents, they lose one. Well, it's a four cost to instant illusion, though. Attack actions you control have go again. Oh, this can be attacked. Oh, jeez. So they don't... It, yeah, the combat doesn't really have to do anything. It's just they have to attack it, and then it's gone. That's crazy. Seems like a lot of illusionist stuff costs a lot of mana, though. Token. Everyone's favorite token. Foil common. Equipment. Rare. Draw a card and discard a random card. If it goes six or more, discard this way. Your next approved attack gets plus X, where X is its base power. Where X is its base power. Go again. So, yeah. Pay this for two. Hopefully, you discard something with six or more, and your next brute is also six or more. But it has to both be. Well, this one has. Yeah, you discard an attack action card, and your next attack action card gets plus six. So, in theory, that's a good way to get up to 12 power attack. That is also a ton of energy you have to pay. Thunk. Foil common. Rare, rare. Getting close to the hour mark. No. How could I done this? Foil rare. Noise. Hopefully my next video I'll be able to keep under an hour. It's almost like when you're on a phone call. You want your phone calls to be nice and short and simple. Generic action attack. There are no attack action cards in your graveyard. It has dominate, and if this hits, your hero gains plus one till end of turn. There are no attack action cards in your graveyard. Dang, that's, that's heavy. I feel like you could definitely do it with, that, with a wizard, though. Hehe. <laughs> Common. Rare, rare. I don't know why. It really does feel like these packs have a lot less majestic slash supers than before. Could have sworn that every so often I would get a box and they'd be like, oh, there's eight super slash majestics. Now, they're supposed to just be like combined rarity, and I don't feel like I've gotten eight majestics in any of these. And double rare. I could very easily be wrong though. Could just be a. I'm not remembering a lot of them since I haven't really memorized a lot of the cards in the set. Commons all day long. Is that the foil? No, the thing behind it's the foil. Alright, so I got another foil one of these. This one is not all janked up though. Put that there. Double rares. One cost, one damage, and deals to uh, arcane. I think I would still play that. Because you're still getting three damage, and it's, it has to be divided to block it. Dun, dun.
foil common. Rare magenta. There we go. Light warrior reaction. Zero cost. Attack reaction. So additional cost to play this. Banish X cards from your hero's soul. That can't be zero. So there you go. Using the soul mechanic. Gets plus X. If you've charged this turn, search your deck for an action card with X or less. Reveal it. Put it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. So you could definitely be like, I got 10 soul. Boom. But I doubt you'll have that many. And you have to play as the new hero, because the other one doesn't count as light right now, as far as I've seen. Unless they put up Arata's going, all these characters have alignment now. Ooh, foil rare. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Boots go there, rare, and okay, maybe I do get like eight of these per, per box. Put soul food and all cards in your hand into your hero soul. And it is an action. Yeesh. That's heavy. But if you're going to try to one hit kill with that other majestic down there, then cool. Alright, this turn I know I'm not going to be able to hit you, so I'm just going to put everything into soul and go to next turn. Oh, that means you also can't put something into your um, arsenal. That, that kind of blows. Alright, hopefully you had something cool in your arsenal. Alright. Foil common. Armor. Rare, rare. This is the, yeah, this is the one where you could <laughs> defense reaction uh, for no cost. Having a blue, uh, yeah, having a pitch three version of that though sounds terrible. It's literally two block, but you're getting rid of two cards to block two damage. Awful. Light action, common, equipment, rare, majestic. Oh, got one of these already. Dimensional crossroads. Fun stuff. Shadow Boomblade. Last card for this box. And we get to go right towards the very, very end. <laughs> okay. Hollow Common. Equipment. And Double Rare. At least they got a replacement for that real dinged up, dinged up Aether Iron Weave. But only one foil majestic this time, as far as I can tell. It's really hard to see it foil either. Because <laughs> it's so dark. Even, even me in real life, I could hardly see it shimmer. But it does. If only we bit. And then we out of here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm sure, a lot of you, if you guys have popped in, I'm sure you guys left almost immediately, though. Da -da -doo -doo -doo. After that first pack, you guys are just like, oh, well, well he pulled the best thing he can. Everything else is just going to be out. Just going to. Saw the excitement come and go immediately. <laughs> go last guy right here it's being way more stubborn than the other three were for those of you guys that did watch that i hope you had fun i hope you were a little bit more excited than i seem to be <laughs> it's just been a it's been a bit of a week i mentioned i didn't get to open these when i wanted to because of other arrangement on some obligations so and I also didn't want to wait too long to open these because I know like the hype might die down a little bit. Then again, hey, maybe people do want to wait a little bit before seeing all these videos. They want uh, to scratch that itch when they don't have their own packs.
go through all the commons real quick. Foil common. Rare, rare, cool. You can play this if there's no card in your hero's soul. Put it into your soul when combat chain ends. Three cost light action. Is this a foil one of these? Yeah, it is. Foil gallantry gold. Destroy it. Your weapon gets plus one and go again. Oh, your weapon attacks gain plus one this turn. It's not bad. Do have to destroy it though. It's always my least favorite thing of some of those. Excuse me. Commons, commons, foil, commons. Rare and a majestic. Invert existence. Wow. You may play this from your banish zone. Shadow Rune Blade Instant. Banish two cards from opposing hero graveyard. If an attack action and a non attack action card are banished this way, deal two damage to the hero. This is a one cost shadow instant. Dang. That's pretty awesome. Even if you don't play it from banished. Commons for days, rare for you, putting you in sleeve because I care so much to do. Put you off camera. Rare, rare. have my fan on, that's what this noise has been the entire video, and boy oh boy, it is not helping. I'm still very warm in here. Very rare. Tokens go away. Yeah, if I do post another video, maybe what they'll do is I'll just like take the token out, get everything but the last four cards, and be like, all right, here we go. Rare, Mythic, and Foil. Oh, and Equipment, because you can't really not get the Equipment. Yeah, basically do that. Just skip all the way to it. Then go, all right, everything else is done. Now I got one thing to post on my uh, TikTok, though. Ding, ding, ding. Herald of this thing. Dominate, puts in your hero soul, draw cards. Oh, if it hits, put it into your soul and then draw two cards. Fantastic one. If. Defended by a non-illusion attack card with six or more power, destroy it and close the combat chain. I'm gonna have to read up on how that works because it sounds like you destroy the other card. No, you destroy this and close the combat chain. Oh, I see, I see. If they basically block with like a really strong thing, it stops the attack, whether uh, their defense is higher or not. So it's kind of easy to block it if you're certain classes. It's so like a, a weird thing is that illusions don't really work on Brute in that sense. Not all illusions, but that one specifically. Oh, another one of these Shadow of Ursars. Noise. 
because the brute uh, has a lot of six power stuff. They need like all of their attacks to be six power or more. So you're just like, oh, they blocked with anything in their deck. This thing has now been thwarted. Foil common. Equip rare, rare. Banished three random cards from your graveyard. Oh my god. If a card with six or more was banished this way, it gets plus three power. So a three cost, probably nine power card. Just can't be one of your early cards in the game. Foil common. Boots. Rare, rare. Wouldn't you know it? There was a Phantasmal Shield. <laughs> Foil rare, fantastic shield. Rare, rare. Foil comments. Rare, rare. Almost there. <laughs> like how streaming on OBS it tells me all these stats, like how much ping I have and how long I've been recording. But a lot of these other numbers I just don't even recognize. So I'm like, cool. I guess it's good to know this stuff. Would you have? Would I ever really say TMI? Because I'm almost at that point right now. Rare, majestic, generic attack action. Wait. While this isn't defended by a card with equal or greater power, the defending hero can't play or activate instants or defense reactions this combat chain. So you have to literally put a regular defense with four or more power. Otherwise, they can't defense reaction to it. And then I could also pay three to give plus two power during the attack, most likely. Yeah, it says only while it's attacking. That is a pretty savage card. Definitely would want to put, I don't know why I almost put that in the completely wrong spot. But yeah, it looks like it's some type of assassin character using it. I definitely would want to put that into a ninja deck. Token. Foil. Rare, rare. Nothing too crazy. Sorry if I've lost a lot of my energy. <laughs> it's just the very end of this. I I'm, have very low expectations. So I'm just trying to trying to make sure I don't slow down or anything and make this timer go as long as possible. Oh my goodness, that looks awesome. Lumina, Lumina Ascension. It's just his specialization. Until end of turn, weapons you control gain plus one power, and if this hits, reveal the top card of your deck. It's a light card, you put it into your hero's soul and gain, I think it's one life. Otherwise, put it at the bottom of your deck. If you've charged this turn, you may attack an additional time with each weapon you control. It's a zero cost, and the scudding is go again, because otherwise it will be useless. That seems amazing. I'm very much looking forward to using that. When weapons you control came this, and if it hits, reveal the top part of your deck. Foil rare, do 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 ding. I haven't even read this. Okay, gain one to act destroy this, gain one. Activate this only if you've dealt or been dealt physical damage this turn. So you have to hit first, then you can go and gain one. That's kind of cool. 
Uh, generic defense, yes, it's our absolute favorite card in the set. I was like, I don't think this is the Illusionist chess. What is this? Blood drop brocade. Foil common. Rare, rare. How great would it be if in these last few packs there is a second legendary? I'm curious how you get the mentors though. I don't. I mean, whole box and we haven't. Whole case, I should say. Whole case and we haven't gotten a le, uh, one of the mentors. Wonder if they're supposed to be like insanely rare or something, or if they're like tournament exclusives. I can kind of see that happening. Double rare again. Shadow Puppetry, Majestic Foil. Zero cost, the next attack action you play, the same gains plus one and go again. If it hits, look at the top card of your deck, you may banish it. Shadow action. Funk. Rare, rare. It is interesting that they literally have shadow and then they also have shadow specific for brutes and specific for blades. But as of right now, oh wait, no, I forgot. The illusionist is still a uh, shadow. I was like, they technically only have the warrior, but no, they don't. They, they have two. Rare, rare. Foil. Rare, rare. Token go away. Foil common again. Almost. Foil or rare, rare. Last pack. Last pack of the case. Well. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did, despite the fact starting off on such a high note and then just slowly working our way down. Maybe if I come back to this later on, I'll be like, oh man, I can't believe I pulled this and I didn't uh, react to it. God, it's so crazy. And double rare. Way to finish it off. <laughs> well, hope in the future I also get to pull one of the mentors because they seem like a cool mechanic. I would love to play with them, especially in Blitz tournaments. It would be really dumb if they were on tokens, but I'm like 90% sure the Mentors are some kind of rare. Yeah, I don't see anything like that here. Well, I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching. I know I got a lot of stuff to sort through and try to learn how all this stuff is supposed to play out. God, just look at that. Oh, it's pay to banish a card from your soul create this okay so you have to have soul in order to activate this ability then it also does the whole it prevents one damage if your hero would be dealt damage instead destroy this then prevent one of it so you definitely need to play a bunch of stuff that's gonna utilize those tokens advantage card from your soul target attack this and I need to see what you talk about if you've charged this turn. Because I haven't seen anything say charge. Because, like, here's his weapons. They don't, they don't say anything like that either. Oh, I have a lot of learning to do, a lot of sorting to do. So I want to go ahead and get to it. Thanks for watching, and I will stream again.